Hey guys, welcome back to Berenice's Math Club. Today we'll be learning about factoring. So what exactly is factoring? Well, factorization is a term that we've all heard. And so factorization is when we just simply take a number apart. So we split a number and every number has its own factors. And so in the same way, expressions also have factors. So we know that an expression has three components. It has numbers, variables, and at least one operation. So numbers have factors. Therefore, an expression ties in with factoring. So let's say that we have an expression. So we'll take 4x plus 12. So this is just an expression. Now, how can I apply factorization to this expression? Well, remember, we know that factorization is when we split something apart, right? A split a number apart. So let's write the two, let's split this um, expression. Let's write this as 4x and 12, okay? Now, I need to find a factor of the numbers 4 and 12. So I need to see what number are both of these numbers divisible by? Well, I know that 4 and 12 are both divisible by the number 4. So 4x is the same thing as multiplying 4 by x. And so 12 is the same thing as multiplying 4 by 3. So as you can see, the factor of 4 and 12, 4, this is a common factor. If I multiply it, I can get 4x and I can get 12. So here's the um, kind of where you need to apply common sense. But I mean, it's really simple once you've practiced this. So 4x, 4 times x, and then 12, the, since we multiplied 4 by x, we need to multiply 4 by a number to get 12. So 4 times 3 is 12. So I see that both of these numbers, sh numbers or um, parts of the expression share the factor of 4. So, so I don't really need to write the number 4 twice. This is where I can tie in the distributive property. So factoring is kind of like the reverse of the distributive property. So if I have the number 4, so let's say I have number 4 here, rather than writing it twice, I can multiply it by both x and 3. So if I put a parenthesis and then I write x and then plus 3, and I close it in, this is the same thing as 4x plus 12. Now, I got 4 from the factor, x plus 3. Now, the reason I put an addition sign is because in my original problem, I have an addition sign. So that's where I get the addition sign from. And so if I actually do the dis apply the distributive property on this, I know that I have to distribute the number 4 to x, and I need to distribute it to 3. So I know that 4 times x is 4x, and then 4 times 3 is 12, and positive, positive make a positive. So I have 4x plus 12, which is the same thing as 4x plus 12. And so by using factoring, I put this in simpler form, which is 4 and then x plus 3. So this is where we can apply the distributive property to check our answer. And so that's it for this topic, what is factoring? I hope you guys learned whatever you needed to know about factoring. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.